Nashville is a town that is no stranger to production, from you know the smallest of stages and to the most grand uh, efforts. You can pretty well count on production you know, of any level here in this town. But when I heard that they were moving that train, moving 576 out of the park and transporting it downtown, I was like, you've got to be kidding me. We were on the road, and somebody sent Harry Stinson pictures of it, and I looked, and I'm almost, it almost made me cry. I mean, I was like, look at that. In the 21st century, after sleeping for 60-something years, look at there. Look at that. That's beautiful. The old soul of Nashville is in the, our buildings, our architecture. And so many of the touchstones that all of us came up around, they're disappearing, and they're becoming condos, and they're becoming, you know, disposable restaurants, and we'll see if they're still here in 30 years. But to see this train and that part of the, of the legacy of this town and the heart and soul of this town standing up and, you know, entering the 21st century, taking its rightful place, it was a sight to behold. Being a member of the Fabulous Superlatives and playing with Marty for almost 20 years now, we tried to count up the number of train songs that we knew. And we came up with over 100 and 150 or something like that. Trains are part of country music, and we play authentic uh, country music and have a lot of fun with it. And it's, the rhythm of the train is a driving beat. It, it, it's a driving beat in those old Johnny Cash songs. It's a driving beat in a lot of things. And so Harry and I dreamed up a song, and Harry, I said, what's the name of the train? And he said, well, it doesn't have a name. I said, are you kidding me? Every train has to have a name. It's not like a child not having a name. So. We originally came up, Harry called it the Baron, and, and then it became the Duchess, Queen of the Dixie Line. So I love the fact that Harry Stinson named the Duchess. Steam locomotives gather crowds. And when that engine is back on the rails, I guarantee you that when people start seeing that thing going down the rails, it's gonna cause a commotion, it's gonna cause a lot of interest, and there's gonna be, you know, my kids, my grandkids, they're gonna be able to ride behind it and their imaginations are gonna go crazy like mine did when I was sitting in it at the park. So I think it's, it's really important for to get people excited about something that's their very own. This is a Nashville engine. But there's a lot of old timers and you know veterans and lifelong Nashvillians in this town, Harry Stenson being one of them. Grew up playing on that train, now their grandkids are playing on it. So people coming home from war, saying goodbye to a loved one, picking up a loved one. Something that meant so much to so many people coming into the 21st century and still touching hearts and lives. If that train could tell stories, if that train could talk, trains have stories to tell.